hives can be extremely frustrating to both the patient and the doctor. The reason is it's hives are very difficult to determine what is the underlying cause. The world literature states that 90% of the time, nobody really finds the cause of hives, but we can get them to go away. And as mysteriously as they start, they will stop, at least in most cases. Now, you need to be a good detective in figuring out what is causing your hives. Let me talk to you about some of the common things. Number one is foods. Now, foods are a common cause of hives. If people have chronic hives, it's usually a food that they eat very commonly. And that can be egg, wheat, corn, milk, chocolate, fish, or nuts, or soy. Now, those are common foods, but it can be any food. Strawberries, for instance. Now, usually when people are allergic to foods, they eat the food and they get a little itching in the back of the roof of their mouth, and it's very obvious that that food is causing problems. Other foods can be very hidden. And so sometimes we need to avoid and challenge. Your doctor will talk to you about avoiding and challenging various foods. The second thing that can cause hives is infection. Now, any type of chronic infection can cause hives. It can be a chronic sinus infection. It can be some cavities that you have in your teeth. It could be chronic bronchitis. It could be a chronic sore throat. It could be chronic urinary tract infection, chronic gallbladder disease, fungal infection on the toes. So I want you to think about your body. Are you having signs of any chronic infection? Diarrhea, burning when you're, you urinate, a chronic cough, blowing out yellow or green, headaches, sinus infection. The third thing would be medications. Now, there's some medications that are implicated in hives. Frequently, antibiotics are the cause of the beginning of hives. If you are on an antibiotic, tell your doctor. But there are other medicines. There are some blood, med blood pressure medications that can cause hives. We usually call those ACE inhibitors. And so foods, infections, medications can all cause hives. Other causes, hay fever. If somebody's allergic to grass and they go out and mow the grass, well, sometimes that will cause hives. If somebody is allergic to cats and they're sleeping with cats, that can cause hives. Frequently, pollen, an animal dander or dust and mold, cause problems in the nose and in the lungs, but they can cause problems in the skin also. Now, we like to think of new things that you're exposed to as possibilities also. It could be a new pet, a new plant, a new car, a new furniture, new cosmetic line that you're using, shaving cream, a new fragrance that you're using, anything that you're in contact with that's new, a new car, a new air conditioning unit, some uh, a new place that you're going to all the time. All those things you need to be a detective. When you break out in hives, think of what you're doing, think of what you're eating, think what you've been exposed to, think what your body is telling you right before those hives broke out. You may be able to find those things and help your doctor decide how to go about best getting rid of your heart.